So it's your boy Nate Fox out here again with Rocks TV. We're out here in South Bend, Indiana for a show from a boy Kung Fu Vampire out here. We're out here doing big things. Sold out show. Small venue. It's where it's at. If you're not there tonight, you're missing out. But uh, man, you just dropped an album, bro. Tell me a little bit about that. Come on. Everybody is getting come on. Lately, it's just getting sprayed all over the U.S. right now on this tour. Uh, this is my favorite album, co-produced by Chris Paxson. Lots of great producers, lots of great features. Come Dawn is available right now, and it just charted on Billboard and iTunes at number 18. So we're super proud of the record. Man, that shit is hot. That shit is hot. Oh, hot off the presses, man. And uh, it, it, we were just playing it in the car, man. That shit bumps. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, th I feel like, so let's say this blows up, and tomorrow you got 10 million views on... Uh, on you know your stuff right what are you gonna do next man i'm going to disneyland nah i'm gonna uh my thing is we're just gonna keep trying to put on the best possible live show the best music the best just heart brain tickling just amazingness we want to give you goosebumps every time and that's what it's all about for us so i feel like this uh this album is really like the culmination of your career you know like everything is coming together it's all falling into place and you can see it in the numbers man just just alone right there so uh if there's a i know you've done you've done features with the who's who of people in the in the industry but uh is there one person that's gone that's passed away that you wish you could have done a song with man prince david bowie um those are two that i really think about that i'm like damn you know, that would have been amazing. And then Metallica, which is, you know, kind of out of my reach, but you never know what the future holds. But, yeah, as far as people who are gone, David Bowie and Prince. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, we're out here, South Bend. You know, it's uh, Indiana's a cool stop, man, and it's sweet to see a, a small venue like this because they, they, it's always a little hyper. It's a little always more exclusive when you can't get a ticket and you want one. So uh, where's another place? What's another place that you are excited for the next show that you're about to do, especially? Um, I'm especially excited for Boston because we've never played there before and we've toured the whole country. This is like the 16th or 17th tour in 10 years. Like we just started touring nine or 10 years ago and we do about one or two tours a year, basically on average one and a half tours a year. Sometimes we do two, sometimes we do one. But um, Boston I'm excited about because we've always had fans there and all of our Worcester fans are going to go there. So we're excited about that. I like the Carolinas and of course we're ending in Las Vegas and I'm taking a little extended vacation while I'm out there so that's gonna be pretty exciting for me hell yeah hell yeah so uh it's 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 never a surprise that the only time I ever see you man it's at night you know what I mean you're coming out at night man so if you had to pick a blood type what would be the best blood type I want the blood type of the person eating the best Kansas City Missouri barbecue Oh, so so KC Mo. So is it Gates? Is it Gates? Is Gates the best spot? Oh shit! No. <laughs> Where's your I, I don't like I don't like Gates as much as a couple other spots. Now I'm not even from Kansas City, Missouri, and I know all the barbecue spots. But I would say uh, Joe's, Oklahoma Joe's, which I, apparently it started at a gas station first. That's dope. Uh, maybe it's still at a gas station, but then it opened up other spots and of course then there's the main spot the main 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 spot and uh, i'm drawing a blank on the name but it's 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 the main spot if someone said it what's that yeah it's a, it's like man all the barbecue there i've even last time i was there i went to like an offshoot spot that i'd never heard of and it was phenomenal so um yeah kc mo barbecue is the best barbecue in the world that's just hands down what it is Hell yeah, hell yeah. I love barbecue. I used to work at a barbecue place, you know, cooking up the brisket and the ribs, man. Um, but yeah, do you have any, uh, like, new videos coming out? Uh, where can we check the new stuff out at, man? So we just dropped My Turn um, this week, earlier this week, featuring X-Rated. This video was shot by my man Hatch86 out in the Bay Area where we're from. And uh, 
The thing is about this video, man, it's really deep because it was his first time at the beach in 27 years since released from prison. So this was like, I brought him to the beach for his first time. Uh, we just shot on this tour a video for the song Rubik's. Um, that's coming out while we're on this tour. Also, Tearing Up Your City featuring Dirtbag Dan. We already filmed that. That's coming out on this tour. As soon as I get back, we're filming 1986 and Baddies. So it's just, it's just going to be, we're going to have videos for almost every song. That's what's up, man. And uh, so X-rated, speaking of X-rated, you know, my man got out of prison for having, he was locked up for a long time, and now we got him back on the streets. You were one of the first artists to really be able to work with him, man. How was that? Um, we became friends while he was in there. You know, his people reached out to me back in 2011 to get on a track of his. He's been a fan of my music. I became a fan of his music. Like, the, the brotherhood, though, is where we really kind of connected. We're really good friends. And uh, he, when he got out, the first place he came and recorded was at Chris Paxton, my drummer slash engineer's studio. And so we, we got him hooked up with directors. We got him interviews. My boy Mars got him on the news. Like, it just, like, he came to our studio and things just kind of, clicked like like it snowballed and clicked and he's just killing it on his own everybody's you know reaching out wanting to hear his story he's got a great story so um yeah it's it's been great working with him hopefully um you're gonna hear a lot more from us we're talking about doing an album together etc so oh shit you heard it here on rocks tv first you've seen it here first on rocks tv you know we're the we're the source where you can find an interview with kung fu vampire man you're coming up bro when uh when you think of an artist that has appeal beyond you know a spectrum where it, you know it's not I, don't, I think you're getting out of the underground where more people are starting to put up an ear man and that's really what it's about we the the underground is home because people that's where you know the people are that listen to this type of music man it's aggressive it's hard but it's got it's got appeal man beyond that and uh that's what i like to see with the new album man charting the fucking billboard man kicking ass out here taking names so uh so yeah what's next man you know what, as far as like, if we can bring this raw, like edgy kind of underground sound, if that propels us out of the underground, that's a good thing. Because we'd rather just appeal to the people who already like our music. So to be able to do stuff that's kind of in between, that can get more love outside of it's cool. But we're just happy. I'm happy where I'm at. But you always want to strive for more. Otherwise, how are you going to get better? You know what I mean? But right now, the the, the goal is to push this Come Dawn album. Um, I'm going to be acting in some really big stuff coming up one tv show i don't want to really announce yet and jinx it and then i got a song in a very 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 big movie coming out soon um and then i also just acted in a cartel movie as a, a main actor in that that'll be coming out this coming year or at the end of this year it's already done in in post-production so a lot of acting stuff a lot of videos for the new album and we're just pushing it then i got an ep coming out with chris pax and my drummer and a few other people. So a lot of little side projects. And then there's Double Dragon with Buckshot next year. So Out here killing it on the acting tip. I didn't even know that you were about that, man. It's awesome seeing you out here doing big things, man. And that's what we're all striving to do is show, show people this hard work, man. Putting in work out here, South Bend, Indiana, Rocks TV with my man Kung Fu Vampire. So, hey, what? Uh, where can you catch it? Where can you catch uh, you at the next stop? Where's your next stop? So right now we're headed into uh, New England. New York, we're doing Buffalo, New York on uh, Tuesday. We got uh, Saratoga Springs, we're doing Rochester, New York, doing New Hampshire, Boston, you know, the East Coast, the Carolinas, Harrisburg. So just hit kungfuvampire.com. We have a tour section there where you can uh, get all the dates. And then also um, my Instagram, man, follow at Kung Fu Vampire on Instagram. Highly active. We're showing you guys a lot of the behind the scenes, funny shit as much as possible. And we're out here goofing off, but we're working hard. Most of all, we're working hard, and uh, we're not trying to pander to any audience. We just do us, and we put on a live show. I'm drenched in sweat after every show, no matter how cold it is. It doesn't even matter. You're going to see on this uh, interview, we go hard. Hey, you got to go hard. Again, pick up my boy's album right here, Come Dawn, available at all your different places and on tour. You can grab the hard copy because I like a physical copy CD. I think it's something cool to have, and you put time into that shit too, you know. Um, so who did the, uh, the album art? So this album is actually three years in the making. The album cover was done by this guy named Mr. Melville. He's in um, Russia, and... Um, yeah, so then the rest of it was done by my boy Dickles, and then uh, my homie McNasty out in Arizona did the, the art underneath the tray when you lift the CD. So a lot of people came together on this, and then I oversee every single 
piece of everything Kung Fu Vampire. So. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, it's because he's a true artist out here. And uh, that's what we like to see, man. So, again, we're out here, man. You got to catch the show, uh, catch him on tour, come down, go buy the album, and, uh, you know, check him out. Uh, if you if you haven't heard of us, I'd probably at this point play a multitude of songs off Come Dawn. I'd probably have them listen to Trapped in Hell, Madonna, 1986, Baddies. Those are the songs I like that I think people would just undeniably like. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if you guys get a chance, bump this Come Dawn album, Spotify. Go get it for free on Spotify, um, Apple Music, Pandora, whatever, Google. Doesn't even matter. If you want a hard copy of the CD, it's, it's it literally a piece of art. Like, uh, nothing sounds better than the CD. This thing was mastered beautifully by Chris Paxton. So, yeah, that's that's it. Shout out to Rocks TV. Shout out to BC. Shout out to everybody supporting us. No label. We could have been on a label multiple times. We decided to do it on our own. It's a lot more work. It's a lot more stress. But we have 100% creative control. And that's how we feel we can bring the fans and listeners the best possible music that we can do. So, Oh, this is Kung Fu Vampire. I put the fun back in funeral. You're on Rocks TV. Shout out to Rocks TV. Stay tuned. Much more. You know what? You're tuned into Rocks TV. You don't like it? Suck my dick. Fuck you. Just kidding. That's rude. <laughs>